Duck Polk and Daniel Negrano, two legends of the poker world. Ironically, at some point, Duck Polk even admired Daniel Negrano, but it all changed in 2016. The Negrano Polk feud began in 2016 after Negrano, defending the company who has paid him for years, argued in favor of a poker star's rake increase. He claimed essentially that higher rake weeds out the sharks and brings more recreational players to the game. That assertion led Polk to mock the poker star's ambassador by joking with his followers that more rake is better, which since turned into a popular meme that spread throughout the poker community. In the aftermath of the video, Kid Poker faced a lot of criticism from the poker community. He eventually had to explain his stance in a long blog post released on Full Contact Poker, titled My Thoughts on Rake, in which he states, it makes sense to give the majority of the bonuses or rewards to the recreational players. This, however, only added fuel to the fire and resulted in a Twitter battle between Polk and Negrano. Negrano in his tweet said that I've never in my life said that and I'm beyond sick of hearing that bullshit. I don't believe that, nor have I ever said it. To which Polk replied, I'm not sure if you realize you're lying, but you specifically said that recreational players lose less and that's better for the ecosystem. Negrano said, I never in my life suggested or said that higher rake was good for poker, not once, ever in my life. Doug Polk replied, you should have just said, I misworded that I said before, more rake is not good for the ecosystem, defending the position gives it life, to which Negrano finally said, what gives it life is your incessancy or mischaracterizing my actual position on the situation. But it's important to look at Negrano's full comments and not the shortened version of them. In the interview from October 2016, Daniel Negrano said, if the rake is too high for the good players, what you're left with is bad players who are going to lose. But they're losing less per hundred hands than they would have if the pros were playing with them. There's a lot of games where that's true, where the rake is really high and it keeps pros away because they're like, well, we can't beat this, but overall for the game, it's actually better because the pros are not playing. As previously noted, this statement has been condensed to Negrano saying more rake is better. Polk and others in the high stakes poker community latched onto these comments and gave birth to the more rake is better punchline. It didn't take long for the first feud of the summer to hit the Twitter stream and it all began on day one at the Super High Roller Bowl. Doug Polk and Daniel Negrano were both in the 48 person field that was formed by a combination of lottery and RE awarded seats. There is no love loss between the two players and when the day one seat draw took place, the two players were seated next to each other, the viewing audience was looking for some fireworks. It took about 27 minutes into the broadcast before Doug Polk's shirt came off, literally. Polk removed his dress shirt to reveal a t-shirt with the slogan, more rake is better on a billboard. Negrano's usual tableside manner was more reserved compared to his typical chatty demeanor. While he looked slightly annoyed, he wasn't about to forego months of hard work to get into a war with Doug Polk. But in the end, it was Negrano who had the last laugh as Doug Polk was busted from the Super High Roller Bowl early while Kid Poker finished runners up and won $3.5 million. You might think Polk losing a substantial pot to Negrano and busting on day one would be the end of this saga. A few days later, the WSOP began. Polk announced he wasn't going to play any events other than the main event. He said he's burnt out in poker and has since partially retired from the game. But he wasn't completely absent from the Rio in Las Vegas that summer. He most certainly made his presence felt. Outside the Rio, in early June, a billboard reading morerakeisbetter.com appeared. Duck Polk, as expected, quickly took credit for the sign. Many poker players found humor in Duck Polk's public taunting of Negrano at his place of work, but others decried the 31-year-old behavior as childish and petty. The billboard remained erect throughout the WSOP. Sometime later, after Duck Polk stepping out of the game, it would seem his days of antagonizing Negrano, a favorite target over the years, were finally in the past. However, he couldn't resist after Negrano stepped out of the line on a live stream recently, cursing like a sailor and eliciting the ire of Twitch. As if Negrano's subsequent Twitch ban wasn't annoying enough, he had to deal with pockets of social media coming after him and Polk joined in the chorus. He released a short but biting video that has since been taken down by YouTube. To Joey Ingram, there was only one solution to this long festering feud and he said, can Doug and Daniel settle this by playing poker against each other, heads up, 
at some point, please. Paul tweeted to Ingram and said that if the tweet got more than 1,000 retweets, then he would come back to poker for one last time for one final heads-up match. That tweet got the required amount of retweets and Polk officially offered a match Tuesday afternoon. He offered to play four tables of Heads Up No Limit for 25,000 hands. There would likely be a side bet on whoever won the match as has been the case with every other similar Heads Up challenge but it was never stipulated in the original offer. In the years leading up to and shortly after Black Friday in 2011, Doug Polk was arguably the best Heads Up player on the internet. He played the highest stakes available before stepping back from the grind and spending more time on his YouTube channel and other business ventures. As someone that came to the ranks decades ago, Negrano is less of a hold'em specialist and scoffed at the idea of taking on Polk in a game he spent countless years studying and mastering. Polk then offered a middle ground where they can each pick a game and the match is split between the two different disciplines. Then things devolved into more needles. According to Negrano, he's the Michael Jordan to Doug Polk's Clyde Drexler. Joey Ingram has kept clinging to the idea of the match saying it will be one of the greatest events in the history of the game and it seemed like the door isn't totally shut. Ingram threw out the idea of a heads up sit and go series best of seven with agreed upon structures and some of the money going to charity. Doug Polk did not like the idea. He said, I'm willing to settle for a half no limit and half a game of his choice, also willing to settle from four down to two tables. I don't want a best of seven match or whatever that is supposed to mean. I want a bunch of volume in against a weak opponent, so I'm just going to win. Betting site Poker Shares install both players as close to even money in a prospective match, but the betting public has come in on Polk so far, moving the line to minus 119 after a 54% implied probability of winning. However, while the idea of a heads up grudge match between the two of the biggest names in the game would appeal to many, Polk seems confident it wouldn't come to pass. Soon after, however, Negrano accepted in principle a match of Heads Up No Limit Hold'em with stakes of 200-400 playing two tables. Let us know in the comments below on who you think will come out on top on this epic Heads Up match. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.